Hello and welcome to my new series Laravel Livewire Cookbook. This is going to be an open-ended series and I'm just going to keep adding to it as and when I create new things in Livewire. I'm going to share with you how I've done that. If there's anything that you'd like me to demonstrate to you in Laravel Livewire, something that you want to add in one of your projects maybe, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to put a video together showing you how to do it using Laravel Livewire. In this first video, this is just going to be a quick introduction on how to install Laravel Livewire into a fresh project. And we'll also create our first component. And we're just going to be following the documentation example here of creating a counter. So it's nothing fancy, but it gives you an idea of the workflow that you need when you're using Laravel Livewire. So what I have here is a very basic project. But it's using Laravel Breeze as a starter kit. And I've created 500 users here. And I'm simply listing them out with pagination. So other than that, this is a completely fresh Laravel project. So to get started with Livewire, we first need to install it with Composer. And to do that, it's Composer require Livewire forward slash Livewire. And once that's installed, we just need to bring in the JavaScript and the styles into our front end template. So over in the project, you can open up your resources, layouts, and then open up app.blade.php. You might have a different template layout to this if you've created from scratch. So this could be anywhere in your project. As long as you include these styles in the head and the scripts towards the bottom of the page, then Livewire will work for whatever page they're included in. I'm doing it in this app.blade.php, so every page will have access to Livewire. So up in the head of the document, I'm just going to come down to the bottom of the head and I'm going to bring in Livewire with at Livewire styles and then likewise let's do the same for the scripts i'm going to do this down the bottom just above the end body tag and i'm going to do at live wire scripts and then that's it that's all you need to get live wire up and running within your laravel project so let's look at creating our first component so to make a component is very simple we can use the artisan command line for this so we can do a php artisan make colon livewire and then we just give it a name of the component we want to make and as i said as a quick introduction we're going to be creating a counter component just like you do within the documentation so let's just name this one counter and then that's created the component for us so let's have a tip so let's jump into the code and take a look at this so over in your project under app http you should now have a new folder called livewire and this is where it's going to store all of your components. So let's open up this counter.php now. And you can see this is the basic structure of a Livewire component. It simply extends the Livewire parent component and then it renders out a view of Livewire.counter. Come down to resources and views. You can see there's a new folder in here called Livewire. And in there is your new component, counter.blade.php. So let's open this. And as you can see there now, this is a empty blade component ready for us to build out our component with. So now we actually want to create the functionality of the counter. So over in the counter.php file, we're going to create a new property on here. And this is going to be a public property. So let's create that now, a public T, and we're going to name this count. And we're going to start it at zero. Now what this allows us to do inside of our livewire counter.blade.php file is echo out any of the public properties. In our case, we've only got this one here called count. So let's add this in now, just using the standard blade syntax. We can open up our curly braces and just put count there. So it's going to echo out whatever's in that counter, which currently is zero. So I'm just going to open up my dashboard.blade.php, which is where I'm listing out my users. And then just at the top here, we're going to bring in that live wire component. So to do that, it's called live wire colon and then the name of the component which is counter in our case i'm just going to save on this and now refresh in the browser you can see here up in the top corner very small is the zero and that is coming from the back end from our counter component so what we can do now is we can add a button here and when it's clicked we can call a function on the back end and we don't need to bring in any javascript or make any ajax calls to make this work Livewire is going to handle all of that for us under the hood. So let's look at how we can actually do that. So open up our counter.blade.php component. And in here, I'm going to create a new button. I'm just going to put the plus sign in here. And then on the button, I'm going to say wire colon click. 
So here we're saying Laravel Livewire, listen out for a click. And when there is a click, I want you to call a function. I want you to call a function called increment on the counter component. So at the moment we haven't got this, so let's create that now. So back over in our counter.php, let's create a public function. And we're going to call this one increment. This is going to be a simple method. We're going to call this count, which is pointing to the public count here. And we're simply going to push plus on it. So we're going to add one to it. Now let's just save on this and let's just check it out in the browser. So I'm just going to refresh the page. We now have our button here. I'm just going to click it. And you can see that has now increased to one. And then we can keep pressing it and it's going to keep increasing it. And you can see here, there's no page refresh when we do this. This is all handled in real time by Livewire. Let's just take a quick look again at exactly what this is doing. So in our application, we're bringing in our component, which is the counter component. And then inside of our counter component, we have a button. And on this button, we're telling Livewire to listen for a click. And when it is clicked, we want to run a method on our Livewire component called increment. And over in our Livewire component, we have that increment method. And it's simply just adding one to the current count. So normally in the past, you would have had to have written a lot of JavaScript for this to send the request off to the back end. The back end would have had to increment the count and then send the response back down to the front end. And then the front end would have had to handle showing that back to the user. But now with just a few lines of code, all of that is handled for us. In the next video, I'm going to in the next video, I'm going to cover how we can create pagination with Livewire. In the current project, as you see here, when we paginate for another page, so we go to page two, for example, you can see there's a full page refresh and then three and so on. It's going to keep refreshing the page. But let's do this in Livewire so there's no page refresh.